My name is Eric Horman. I'm an assistant professor of neurosurgery, radiology, and an affiliate of the New York Center for Data Science. As a practicing neurosurgeon at NYU Langone Health, I treat all manner of neurological disease, patients with brain tumors. I specialize both in kind of the minimally invasive removal of brain tumors as well as non-invasive with radiosurgery, as well as I'm interested in basic minimally invasive techniques to treat spine disease and particularly low back pain. I had the fortune of spending six months of my training with Edmund Pellegrino, who's a NYU alumnus, and who's uh, kind of a renowned physician philosopher. And he always taught that the root and the heart of medicine was the patient-physician relationship. And I think that's really what I take to my medical practice. And I, and I think really the strength of the patient-physician relationship really begins with listening. And, and I think when patients are overwhelmed by their diagnoses, I really begin with listening to them and seeing what, hearing what their concerns are. And then after I feel like I've really heard them, then I can you know, really respond and try to address those concerns. And certainly in neurosurgery, we sometimes describe it as the tip of the spear as far as technology and medicine. And it's an incredibly technology-dependent field. Um, I'd say in a neurosurgical operating room, there's more technology to bear on a single surgical problem than probably anywhere else in medicine. And I'd say more than almost any other area in modern life in terms of the stereotactic, the navigation, the imaging technologies, the actual surgical robotics, all the monitors and all the tools that we bring to solve neurological problems and get people out of a neurological operating room, you know, ideally with better neurological function than they entered it. And so I think doing all this AI research in the context of neurosurgery really gives me access to some of the best problems to develop technical solutions against. And I think that's what all good science and in many ways good medicine starts with having really good problems and well-delineated problems. And so I think you know, being part of neurosurgery gives me access to some of the best for developing solutions that can benefit not only my patients in neurosurgery, but really patients across the medical center.